one. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a geek. This is Raven <laughs> and Deja <laughs> from <laughs> Twisted Sisters Mojo. And this is take two on trying to do start our series on the minor arcana for Tarot Talk. And today what we're going to do is go through uh, the wands uh, ace through five. And it's uh, interesting to note that uh, Deja and I have uh, very different views, well, on the element that the card belongs to. Now, for me, wands represent air because um, uh, they come from trees. Trees come, trees make oxygen, and, and oxygen is in the air. Yeah, but, but so, if you're you looking could, at trees, wouldn't it be earth? N no, that would be pinnacle. No, but you just said... Trees, the wands come from trees. So wands trees comes from wands come from trees. Trees produce oxygen. Oxygen is in, in the air. I just wanted to bust your chops. <laughs> I'm just not a Xanax in the world to deal with this bitch sometimes. <laughs> as she was saying, she sees wands as air. I see wands as fire due to the creativity and the action that is behind the thought process. So when I look at wands, I see them as fire. She sees them as air. And that's that's perfectly okay. However it corresponds to you and whatever talks mm -hmm. to you, it's good. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Now, the first one that we are going to do is the ace. We're doing that so you can try to see it. And if it's not good, let us know, and we really will reshoot this there we go. a third time. There we go. If we cover our faces. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> now, this to me is, a, as you can see, there is a hand coming from a cloud that's holding the wand. To me, they, it represents new ideas or maybe divine intervention and helping you with your ideas and getting things going. All of the aces represent the beginning of that element, the beginning of thought, the beginning of action, the beginning of earth, the beginning of emotions. Yeah. Um, it's also when I see the Ace of Wands, it tells me that it's a good time for the client to begin any creative projects that they have going. Mm -hmm. Anything that they're passionate and fiery about or something that ignites them inside, when the Ace of Wands pops up, it tells me that now is the time to begin to do that. So it is very much a active card. Mm, very, yes. Now the second one we have is the Two of Wands. There's a gentleman that's holding the world, looking out over the ocean, standing on, well, it looks like the top of the castle, but it could be a wall. He seems to be a, a gentleman of means. And in this one, for me, he is contemplating his next move. Should he take a trip? Should he stay home? Uh, or if he is taking a trip, is he planning that trip? How is he going to take that trip? Um, it can also be um, that the world is, again, his oyster. And he is in charge of everything that he sees. But with that um, being in charge, it's great responsibility. And he is um, uh, question, not questionable, answerable to his subjects. Yeah. Um, also, when I see the Two of Wands, um, I associate that card very much with travel. I associate it with distance. Um, we live in a military town. We are in an area that is very heavily, heavily uh, with Navy personnel. So he pops up a lot for mm -hmm. people going out on deployment or coming back from deployment. So I do associate with him with travel and distance. Next is full three of wands. Oops, They're yep. out, of out of order. Yep, the three of wands. Now here this guy is standing there looking at the ships. Are they going out? Are they coming in? Who knows? But by the same token, uh, with Deja dealing with um, deployment, this is somebody that is either watching the deployment come back or watching them leave. So it's the one that could be left behind, the spouses. Um, it's also, uh, he could be waiting for, uh, waiting for his ship to come in, or maybe he just missed the boat entirely. It depends on what's with it. 
Um, I also associate this card um, with rest, uh, with a period of contemplation, with stepping back away from a situation and reevaluating. And I think we talked about this before when we did like take two or three of this. Um, the Three of Wands for me is surprisingly a passive card. Whereas a lot of the wands, it's about energy and movement. For me, the Three of Wands is very calm and passive. Now that's interesting because if it's also dealing possibly with deployment coming back in, would that be more active? I think it would on some level, but if we're the if it's the person that's waiting, then you have the passive element. So it again, it's mm -hmm. it's about how you individually interpret it. She sees things that I might not see, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, but it works for us. So, mm -hmm. but take a look at the card, see what it, see how it speaks to you, and what you get off of it. So the next one we're going to look at is the Four, Four. of Wands. There we go. I figured out the trick. I got to cover our faces. That's nice. <laughs> That's the truth. With that, you have a gentleman and a woman, and they're holding flowers up, and there's a, a big uh, stream of flowers between four um, pillars. This is, um, now this to me corresponds, uh, it seems to me they're getting ready for a celebration. There's other people in the background doing various jobs, and... Uh, if it was the uh, cups or the actually the three of cups as well, that is the party started. But these could be people that just got engaged. They're not quite ready for the altar yet, but they're making their plans. They're doing uh, things to get ready for that. And it could be also just it's a time to get ready for a celebration. Maybe you're expecting a new child or maybe it's a birthday or something, but you're getting ready to party. Yeah, and I, I, I totally agree with what you said. Um, and also, when I see this card, I kind of get the feel of that they're standing at the start of a parade. Mm -hmm. And they're getting ready to dance and march their way to their destination. So it is a very light card. It is a very happy card. It is a very celebratory card, at least for me. Yeah, so. it is, actually. And the five. All right. You've got five gentlemen, and they see they have sticks, and they seem to be hitting them with each other, but not really much in, in deep earnest. To me, it seems more of practicing their trade, honing their skills, um, maybe getting ready, having a mock battle, getting ready for the real thing. How about you on that one? Well, with the Five of Wands, I always associate this card with conflict, with... Um, <coughs> Ad adversity, uh, <coughs> depending on what it's paired with, um, can indicate the level. It could be a minor conflict all the way to full-blown fallout fighting type of thing. But for the five, at least when I see it, I do see it and associate it with some kind of conflict, some kind of stress or something that you're fighting against. Um and it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, it's a conflict within your relationship. It could be an internal conflict that you're fighting. Mm -hmm. You're fighting against yourself. You're fighting against uh, outdated ideas. It, to the level and to the extreme will also depend on what it's paired with. Well, by that token, it can always also represent competition at work. Yep, competition. That things are, you know, you're all going for the same position and, you know, the best man wins. Now, with the Five of Wands... Um, I've got a lot of tarot decks and in at least, yeah, yeah, so does she. um, <clears throat> and in at least half of them, the, the cards look like the, the individuals look like they're in full blown head to head combat. And then, then in some of them, you have the lighter feel of confrontation. So again, it just depends on what you see, what the author has, um, where the author has taken that, that card and everything that's paired with it. Um, so next time we are going to go through 6 through 10. Then we will be doing the page, queen, with page, page, knight, queen, and king. And then we a lot of people have trouble with those, but they're really not that big a deal. Yeah, they're not. Um, so this has been Deja and Raven with Twisted Sisters Mojo. 
Hit that like and subscribe button. And we will see y'all on the next video. Bye.